Hi, I'm Richard Weikart, and I'm crazy for life. So I'm gonna share with you some of my recent wildlife photography, especially of baby animals, which are generally difficult to photograph because they often stay hidden. I was excited this morning when I was walking by a canal and came upon a family of river otters. This adult is protecting its baby by grabbing it in its mouth and fleeing away as fast as it can from that threatening photographer, that is me. Also recently, I've been seeing quite a few baby ospreys on my bike rides to Lake McSwain. Here's a baby osprey peering out of its nest with an adult looking on. This particular nest had three osprey nestlings. A few days ago, I actually saw three different osprey nests, each having at least two baby ospreys. On a recent kayaking trip on the Merced River, about a half mile from the osprey nest I just showed you, a flock of Canadian geese were ambling along the shore. Here are seven goslings with an adult. A few weeks ago, while I was walking along the Merced River, I startled a wood duck mama with five ducklings. They hurriedly scurried to the other side of the river to get away from this scary photographer. Male and female wood ducks guard their ducklings carefully. Indeed, at this pond, not far from where I live, I often see wood ducks throughout the year. Normally, they fly away as soon as they spot me. However, with ducklings to protect, they stay on the pond and hide with their brood along the bank. If they succeed in protecting their babies, they will grow up to be beautiful adult ducks. Now, what do you think would happen if I decided to kill any of these cute baby birds I've just shown you? I would be violating federal law, the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, which protects baby birds from being killed. Now, why is it that we value baby birds so much that we make it illegal to kill them, but we allow abortions for human babies? I suppose the pro-choice answer would be because they're already born. But wait a minute. Here's a robin's egg that I found on the ground recently when I was out walking. This would be equivalent to an unborn bird. If it is fertile and has been incubated, it is going through embryonic development from a single cell to a baby bird. Surely if I can abort a human baby, I can destroy this egg with impunity. Nope. If I had taken this egg from its nest and broken it open, which I didn't, I found it recently in my lawn, then I would be committing a federal crime. Why is it that we value birds in embryonic development more than humans? Indeed, one website I looked at warned that even if a bird's nest with eggs in it is inconvenient to you, it is a crime to remove it. If a human baby is inconvenient, however, well, you know. I know that some people will say, but the baby in the womb looks so different from us adults. But this is also true of this last animal baby I'm going to show you, a large but cute tadpole my daughter spotted while we were kayaking down the Merced River. It is a unique individual. However, it is radically different from the frog it will become. Given nutrition and protection, the tadpole will grow up to be like these adults. I hope you've enjoyed my photos of babies in nature, and as important as it is for us to protect them, I hope these animal babies will remind us that we should protect human babies all the more. Alpha Pregnancy Help Center in Merced is committed to doing just that, and any donations will be greatly appreciated. Thank you.